Hey guys, so today I'm gonna review um the cards from One Night in Karazhan and overall but One Night in Karazhan. So um it's a, a new adventure coming up in August the eleventh. If it's gonna release forty five new cards and it costs nineteen ninety nine nineteen ninety-nine US dollars for four wings. And the prologue is free, so it's technically five wings, but everyone gets a wing free. So yeah, and these are the other details and it, it, it has 45 new cards like I said and we're gonna review the cards today. Firstly is Druid. So I think that Druid got a pretty is it, it got pretty it I mean it it's it's not bad, um the cards from Druid. Enchanted Raven is a really stable card. Mana Garin Warden is it's not bad. Um, it like it can copy like the likes of Savage Compa Combatant or Mounted Raptor or something, uh, which is good. But um, I mean maybe in Hunter it will be better because you can copy the likes of Savannah High Main and stuff. And Moon Glen Portal is actually I feel is one of the best portals they released. So I think Druid got a nice upgrade, um, through this expansion. Moving on to Hunter, um, I think Hunter was also pretty good, um, uh, did pretty well in this expansion. Um, first having Kindly Grandmother, a 2 mana 1-1 one, one Death Rattle summon a 3-2 Big Bad Wolf is not bad. It is a Death Rattle minion, it helps in the Zoff decks and it's also a staple because it's sort of like Haunted Creepers and Haunted Creeper was a really good card. So this is actually a good card as well. Cloak Huntress is not bad. I think it might get play in uh, decks such as York and Load decks. Um, because um, spells and secrets cost zero. So you can at the same time play like every single spell. Uh, I mean every single secret uh, for zero. Which is in quite insane value. And the stats are uh, the best stats for 3 mana. So it is actually a good... Um, Good card. The next is a secret called Cat Trick. Um, I have mixed reactions for this secret. Uh, it's after your opponent cast a spell, summon a 4-2 Panther with Stealth. A 4-2 Panther with Stealth is a jungle Panther. It's 3 mana. So you're actually getting value. But the thing is, like, uh, I would rather play um like Bear Trap than this because... Bear Trap has Taunt, and this doesn't, and it's after your opponent casts a spell. So, you don't really get a tempo with this, sort of. So, yeah. Now, Mage. Mage, I think, also did pretty well for this expansion. It has Fire Lens Portal, which I think is a, re a pretty good card, although some people might not think so. It's... 10 mana, deal 5 damage, summon a 5 cost minion. Although 5 cost minions, it has like Earth Elemental, it has um, Corrupted Healbot, but it also has like um, BGH or even like some Mercenary or something which might F your um, tempo, which might be bad, but still it, it's, it's a pretty good card. Then we got M Medivh's Valet. which is better cry if you control a secret deal 2 damage. I find, I think this will not see much play because it's a two mana and um mage secrets are three mana so it won't it it doesn't go on curve so it's basically a two mana two three which I don't think is really good um because it won't impact the bot um when you play on turn two. Um and but I the next card rev uh Raving Grimoire I think it's a really good card because it's sort of it's it's sort of like a Nazoth's first mate as in it's a one one and it, but, um I don't think it's as powerful but it's sort of like a one third of a Kabbalist tomb, with a one one body which is really sweet. Uh, moving on to Paladin cards, um I think Paladin cards are meh, I guess. Um Nightbane Templar is a three mana two three. If you're holding a dragon, summon two one one whelps. Um. It's technically sort of like a four, four six, four five, for um three mana, which is really good. So I think this is a pretty good card. 
Um, however, I think that Silver Moon Portal isn't a really good card because it's gave give a mana, uh, give a minion plus two plus two and summon a random two cost minion. Um, it's four mana is the one that kills it because four mana you have things such as True Silver Champion. It has Consecrate. You have even Blessing of Kings, and I think Blessing of Kings would be even better than Silver Moon Portal because it's plus four plus four and two cost minions is it's not bad but. Having one something that can effectively clear a, a bigger minion would be good. And I think Ivory Knight is not bad as well. Uh it it I mean it hyped me for the start at, at, at the start, but then um in the end I, I mean I realized that Paladin's secrets are normally quite low in cost, like all the secret uh, all the secrets are one cost and other spells such as like equality and all that are it's two mana, so um mixed reaction for this, but I think it might be good in like anything decks because you can get anything and heal for ten. Which is good. Next is priest. I think priest um was pretty I mean I I don't think they did very well in one night in Karazan. I don't know what what's up with Blizzard's reaction with Priest. Because it seems that every time Priest just doesn't get good cuts. Um, first card is, uh, first card is the only card that I think is pretty decent. It's a 4 mana 3, 6, which is the stat line of a Hooded Acolyte or a Water Elemental. It's something like Hooded Acolyte, whenever you cast a spell, then, uh, Hooded Acolyte is plus 2, plus 2 to your cartoon, uh, plus 1, plus 1 to your cartoon. This is Restore 3 Health to your Hero. I think this isn't too bad, but at... Turn 4, I don't think it has much impact, but if you play on later turns, it has pretty good stats to stay on the board, and if you constantly cast spells, it might do some magic. Um, Onyx Bishop, I don't think is really good. I mean, it's it's sort of a 3-4, three, 3-mana three body with a Resurrect, but um, at 5-mana, you don't really use this as... um, Like, you usually want to use your Resurrect um, early in the game where you can, uh, I mean, later in the game where you, you can play big minions and resurrect at the same turn, while this one, it costs 5 mana, so it's not really helping, and so yeah. Um, Purify is a really bad card. It's 2 mana, draw a card, silence a friendly minion. I mean, I guess it might be okay, but wouldn't you rather play like Spellbreaker or Big Eye and Big Owl where you, you can silence both your enemy and your minions? Um, I, I really think that's a really bad card. In Rogue, I, it's, I think it's a... Um, I mean, it did not too bad, I guess. Swash Burglar is a 1 mana 1-1, one, one, um, has the same effect as a Undercity Husker. So I think I think Undercity Husker would I think this card won't see play just because of Undercity Husker. But if you are comboing this card with Ethereal Ethereal Peddler, which is better cry, reduce the cost of cards in your hand from other classes by two, you might play two of this, two of Undercity Husker and two of Burglar. Then it might be interesting. Then we have Deadly Fork which is a 3 mana 3-2, three two, add a 3-2 weapon in your hand. I think this is um, not too great. The stats are pretty terrible. And the weapon the weapon might be okay. So maybe this card might see play, but I'm not so sure. Shaman. Um, I don't think Shaman did very well in this, um, in this expansion as well. First, it has Wicked Witch Doctor, which is whenever you cast a spell, summon a random basic totem. So it's a 3-4, which is a 3-mana um, card, 3-mana uh, minion, um, but it costs 4. So 1-mana is for the random basic totem. And basically, a basic totem is only your hero power, which means it's only the healing one, the spell damage one, the taunt, and a 1-1. One, one. So, I mean, it has sort of value because it's a 3-4 with um with a 2 mana heal power but I think this one see play because of the I forgot what's the name called the 3 mana 3-2 three, summon a random totem because that is 
a lot better basic strictly because um you can summon better totems such as flame tongue or mana type totem or totem golem next we have spirit claws i uh, this card is meh i guess because it encourages people to play spell damage minions which in shaman nowadays doesn't uh shaman players don't really play these um spell damage minions so and at one one and if you play at turn one it does not really have much effect so i don't think this will be played maelstrom portal um this I don't know. It it also encourages spell damage because the one damage to all minion is something like a arcane explosion, and it summons a one cost minion. So I think this might actually see play. I'm not too sure, but it I don't know. I think Blizzard is encouraging more spell damage for, um, to a uh, shaman class nowadays. Moving on to warlock. Warlock. Uh, I think warlock didn't really do that well as well. We have Im of Melkazar, which. It's not too bad of a card, but then um, it encourages people to discard more cards by playing like Succubus, Soulfire, etc. So, I don't know, man. But I, I realized one good um, combo, which is Aim of Melkazar, Coin, Death, Death Wing. Then you can like discard your whole hand and refill your whole hand, which is pretty sweet. Next, we have Kara Kazam. I find this a pretty bad card because... Um, Warlocks usually zoo, um, have usually low cost cards, so Karakazam doesn't really fit the bill, even though it summons more minions, but like it's I think it's still worse than like Silver Hand Knight and all those. Um uh, moving on to Silverware Golem, it's a three mana three three. If you discard this minion, summon it. I mean I guess it's okay, but as it uh it encourages people to play these cards again, but yeah, you could like play a Succubus at uh, turn 1 or something and then discard this and summon it. So it might be good, like dream scenario, coin, Succubus and get this out of it. Which might actually be good, but I don't really think this will see play as well. Now to warrior cards. Um, I think it's got pretty, it, is, it didn't do too badly for this expansion. Um, the best card is definitely Iron Forge Portal. It's gained for Armand Summon a random four cost minion. A four four cost minions are re pretty good. Um, as in like, um, you know, um, Forbidden Shaping four four and eight mana has the best minions. So, yeah, four mana it four mana minions are not bad, and gaining for armor is pretty good as well. Um, next we have Fool's Bane. Um, which is unlimited attacks each turn can't attack hero. It's a five mana three four. So it's basically like a assassin's blade from Rook, except um it can't attack heroes, but it can attack um um unlimited times each turn. I think it encourages warlocks to play more defensively and clears bot uh instead of being aggro with their pirates and stuff. So. Um, it might see this in like Control Warrior, but mm, I'm not so sure because like there are like Gohao, which is really good. Next, we have Protect the King. It's a really um like mixed reaction cards. It's pretty bad, I would say. Um, like compared to Unleash the House, I think Unleash the House is still um way better because it has charge and. Tons doesn't do anything to the bot, um. But still, um. If the enemy has seven minions on board or something, you play this. You play booster. You play booster again. It's a seven mana, five five. Uh, fill your bot with five five, which is actually really good. All right. Um. That's all for a part one of my one night in Karazhan. Um. One night Karazhan card review. Um, late. Um, uh, next part I will be reviewing the other cards. So stay tuned. Peace. Bye.